Well, I've definitely not seen a city where the traffic is so bad that citizens need to use wormhole technology to get about. Yes, these citizens have their own Stargate. Can we fix their traffic? Let's dive in and find out. Hello everybody, welcome back to Fix Your City with me, Biffa. Do you have traffic problems in your city? We can fix them up. Either you can send your city in to me or you can watch uh, what I do with other people's cities and put those tips to good use yourself. We are at 8% traffic at the moment in this city of Rockdale. As you can see, it is pretty, pretty rough. What I've done is I've just let this city run to see how bad it gets. And it is pretty bad. We've got some interesting little features here. We've got nice, uh, nice connection to the highway here. We've got something going on there. Yeah, that's like a normal one of those little highways. I've added some extra weird roads on. Got some roundabouts that we're going to need some work on. Oh, nice little roundabout in there. I like that. I like that. We've got another little junction here. But the traffic is just everywhere. Backing up, backing up, backing up. So it's got so bad in this city that they've tried to use Stargates to fix the traffic. Here it is. Here's the Stargate. Yep, things are so bad. People are going through the Stargate to escape the traffic. <laughs> Which is absolutely brilliant. So where are we going to start to fix this traffic? This city was sent in by Jerry Junk, Jimmy Junk, Timmy Junk. This city was sent in by <laughs> Jerry, Timmy Junk. Uh, so where shall we start? Where shall we start? What we are going to do is start off with this roundabout. <laughs> no, that roundabout's fine. Is start off with some of these roundabouts. And we're just going to do some roundabout tricks. As you can see, I don't have despawning on. So that's good. And we're going to do some of this. We're going to set up your roundabouts. Oh, this... Okay, right. I've had people telling me again, you want to press shift when you hold this. So if I press shift on there... There we go. That should set up all the other ones. No, doesn't work. Doesn't work on any of them. I pressed shift doing that. I pressed shift. That, that connection there is far too close to that one. We may remove... Yeah, you don't need that connection there. I don't need that. You've got this connection here. Look, they can come through. Uh, so we're going to do that. I press shift on that. And I've also pressed shift when I do this. Click, press shift. And that people are saying that. I'll do the whole roundabout. No, it doesn't work. So please stop telling me in the comments. I don't want to hear it anymore. That's it. That's enough. Okay. So that one's set up. So that one should keep moving. Let's just move along here and do all the roundabouts. Just so we know that they're all set up and working. Okay. So let me just whiz through those super quick. Right. That is all the roundabouts set up correctly. The ones that we've got. The only one I didn't bother with was this little tiny one around here somewhere that isn't being used. I wasn't too fussed about that as there's not much traffic coming through there. But I'll keep that in mind once things get moving. So let's maybe start with your highway connection. So we've got the main highway coming in there and you've got connections that come off to go in there, connections into there, connections into there and connections here. Little slip road there. Then you've got this big one. So anybody that wants to come into this section. Okay, I sort of see what you've done. And then these guys down here, if they want to come on and off. They've got to join this right. Okay, so where the heck do we start? That is a very good question. So this is all back... Okay, let's take this highway through here that you've got and start from the beginning and work our way through. So I'm going to take some of these lanes along here and we're going to do a little bit of lane work to hopefully help with this. So we're going to have one lane for going off, two lanes for going on. And then we'll carry on down here and we'll do the same. One lane for going off and only two lanes for going on. So hopefully they'll start spreading out a bit. Uh, we'll do the same here. One lane for going off, two lanes for going on. So they're all going down the middle here. Why is that? Oh, they're using two lanes. That's very clever of them. Right, we've got this cutting through from one side to the other. That's just not good. But then what you can do to try and help with that is do something like this. This is just, this is just too much. So I'll tell you what we are going to do. We are going to remove all of this. That's what we're going to do. And then we're just going to take another look at it and see what's going on. Okay, there we go. So we've got like a good connection road coming over the top, which is nice. 
Uh, we could probably do with another one over here, but we'll get to that. Uh, in this section here in the middle, we're going to delete all of this. See, this sort of thing here, I mean, don't be too hard on the person who's made this map. Uh, normally, what how that sort of happens, let's just get rid of those cars. There we go, pause and unpause. What's the traffic at now? Oh, it's gone up, because we've just deleted a load of cars. This will be because they've sort of had a highway, then they've added something else on, then they've done a little bit, and they've changed a little bit, and, and that's what happens. After a while, it all gets a bit too much and you can't deal with it so what we are going to do is let's have a look what intersections you've got so you've got the basic intersections and the basic highways so we are going to add a little something into here okay so we're going to do something a little bit different here we're going to do an elliptical roundabout rather than a normal circular roundabout and i'm going to make this quite big i haven't done this before but also set up tmpe i think i edited out of the last episode where i went in and checked this um i always Always have these clicked I don't always show it in the video but sometimes it just doesn't work so let's try elliptical roundabout so select center of the elliptical roundabout nothing will be built yet center select any intersection on the main axis of the roundabout nothing will be built yet so I'm guessing here aha there we go uh, minor axis 40 so can we make that bigger ah oh, look at that we can go plus and minus with the what's it keys and that will make it bigger and smaller for us. Something like that will be good. Uh, set up TMPE is done. So we're going to build that there. There we go. Excellent. That is what I want. And then I want these to go over the top. Let's close that down. So as always, I am just going to brace this. Hang on. Let's just do this. We're going to brace this across the middle. So the shape doesn't deform. There we go. Okay, so this is what we're going to go with. We're also going to take a two-lane highway and we're going to downgrade this part over the top. I'll show you why in a second. So as we come up here, we've got three lanes. It's automatically then going to have one lane to go off and two lanes to go straight on. And then that lane joins again and it goes back to three lanes again, which is good. Um, we are going to set this up here with our roundabout signals so you want those to give way coming on this is going to be coming on and off as well so we'll do that uh, that's going to be coming on we'll do that we'll do that that is just going to be going straight off and then we'll set up our junctions so that's going to go straight through that's fine and uh, this is not going to be there so we'll get rid of that uh, we don't want that one we want this one to go straight through. That's going straight through. We don't want that one, just that one. And we want that one. I think that was it. Yes, that's that. So that is what we're going to have along the top. And then we're going to connect this to either side. And we're going to have to have a little roundabout connection where it goes in. So I'm thinking of bringing this main road down and connecting it into here. And then if we can have that coming through here, I'm not really just dest destroying anything because there's nothing much there. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade that one and then we're going to carry that one on up to here, up to here. And then this will probably end up being a little roundabout there. We'll work out what we're going to do with the rest of the roads in a minute. And I could connect it to this big road. So you've got like this big main road it goes to a big road, a small road and a big road. You don't want to do that. You want to keep if you've got a main road, keep your main road going. Let's use net picker. Click a road, upgrade that. You're going to lose a building, but I think that's the way we're going to do it. And let's just line this up again. There we go. Excellent. So let me get that hooked up to here. Okay, so I've connected that to both sides like that. And then what I'm going to do is set these roads here just to go outwards. Um, just so we don't have any traffic cutting across each other and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to upgrade that bit there to go out, that bit there to go out. The same for that one there, the same for that one there. And then we're going to have a little roundabout connection here. And we could even connect it up to there. But you've got that main road. See this, I want to keep this going as your main road. We'll see how that goes. But let's just pop a little normal roundabout in here. Uh, so we do not want it that big. You can get pretty small on these roundabouts and they do work quite well. Three lane highway. Let's go for the two lane highway on this one. Set up TMPE just to show you all it's done. Yep, it's done. Back. Come on. Let's pop that in there. Let's just check whether this has done the stuff for us. No, nope. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't do it. Must be a little bug in traffic manager, but there we go. So let's do that one. And then we'll just pop these in. 
There we go. Excellent. There we go. Excellent. And there we go. Excellent. I'm trying a two-lane highway instead of a three-lane highway this time. Just to sort of see. There we go. Look, that was all set up. Just to sort of see how that works. I think you should be okay. So we've got one lane for going around the island and then one lane for coming off. Which will be good. So we'll do that one there. And then we'll unpause the game and just see how well that has helped a little bit in this area it's not going to solve all of our problems but all right let's speed the game up and just watch this traffic here so i mean we do have two lanes uh, let's just close that two lanes coming off i tend to only make one lane come off and one lane go around but we'll just see how that goes there's going to be a huge dearth of traffic to start off with but as soon as that starts going, hopefully it will just start moving a little bit quicker. So let's just let that run for a bit. Uh, and then over here, we've got this sort of mess. So these guys are coming up. I wanted to come from over there to connect. I think we need a proper junction in here. Do we have one that's not too large? We have this one. Okay, there we go. So we've got that set up there, which is going to help the traffic move in into this section. And we've just set this up. So it's we've got traffic lights there at the moment. But these roads are one way going in. There we go. So one way going that way and one way coming out. I'm probably going to... Mm, where does that come from? All the way up there. I'm going to disconnect this road here um, from being connected. So let's just get the net picker so I know which road we're using. And then let's just draw that into the end but not connect it. So hopefully then that will just keep moving. Yeah, we'll move the traffic light. So people coming in, people coming out, and that will just keep working. And anything coming off the highway won't stop. And that then gives us extra roads down here, which we could connect to this area, which is going to mean less traffic trying to come through there. So let me just connect that up. Uh, you've got a railway line here. Yeah, we can do something here. Don't forget, if you're doing work on roundabouts, brace your roundabout. It doesn't have to be central, doesn't matter. But when you connect roads to the inside, it doesn't deform the roundabout. But when you connect them to the outside, it does. So, yep, just keep that in mind. And then we've got this road coming off here, which goes where? Let us have a look. So that comes back round to this roundabout. Do we really need that? What other roads have we got? This one goes all the way up there. So I can see what you're doing, but we've got this road here, and people can come off and go. Do you know what? We could use that junction there. Yeah, let's delete this. Don't need that. Let's just be very careful here. Get rid of that underground. Go around there. What we could do is we could have them come off of this road here and join into there. That would be fine. So let's just get our one lane road. And we can just go like that. There we go. So they can now use that road if they wish to get round to there. And I'm just going to make that the same going in. Um, and you might as well have that the same going in. There we go. So that takes off another junction there and then we've got this one here which goes to over there which you don't need because you've got this main yeah so we've got less roads that are going to get clogged up and take up space that's good there we go so we've got that connection coming down to this roundabout here so what we're going to find is there's going to be less cars coming and clogging up this to go all the way through here and more cars coming down there and using this roundabout to spread out to different places in the city I may change some of these roads to speed things up a bit, but I'm trying to sort of stick with the roads that you've got and not mess too many things up. Then you've got your highway comes through here, and you've got like this bit is just a complete clogged up nightmare. Um, people can't get across there. Where would they go? If they want to get on this highway, they have to join there, which goes... Yeah, you're not really giving people easy access to a highway, are you? So this little section here, again could be another one of these just to give people access on and off the highway which would be good so maybe i'll set that up down here so they're coming down there i don't know what this is i don't know what that is but yeah we're going to set something up there because at the minute these guys are all coming in do you know what we could just do here we could just do here a small little one of these let's just get rid of that and that just to get these guys moving on quickly and then i am going to come back look already it's moving quicker and i am going to come back and maybe change something with this but i just want to show you how the beauty of a roundabout how quickly things can 
improve with just a little tiny roundabout popped in. Let's have a look. So these guys are lane changing. We've got three lanes coming off, two lanes. We don't really need that many lanes going along here, I'll be honest with you. So what I'm going to do to stop these guys getting confused coming off the roundabout is change that to this down to there. And probably this as well is just far too, far too many lanes. You don't need it. Look at that already. Look, all of this is cleared up, moved in. All of that's cleared up. That is just, just because of one little roundabout. Excellent. So let's follow these guys down here. They are struggling to get on. By the way, I've got a bit of a cold. If I sound a bit snuffly, snuffle up a good today, that's why. So this junction here, that is where it's all happening. So what could we do to fix that? I bet you can guess. Yeah, how did you guess? How did you guess? So that is moving much, much more smoothly. So that, look, that's already clearing all of this up down here, which is good. So, okay, let's just have a look. What's going on with your lanes there? Look, you've got some guys that want to go straight on. And they're unable to because everything's set to go off. So let's change that to that. So those that want to go straight on can go straight on. We're going to do the same thing there. One lane. Okay, you've done that. One lane for on and three lanes for off. We're going to do the same here. There we go. One lane for off, two for on. And then if we come around this side, not so much of a problem, but... We'll do that as well. Yeah, this coming down to here, you can't... Just all of this. Just just look at it all. All of this. See, that's all because of this. And we've just done the lanes there. So if we could fix this a bit. This just has to be a roundabout. There's no other way around it. Well, let's see if we can fix it another way. Look, we want to keep this moving in here. They can't go because of all of this. And they're moving okay, but then it hits this. What have we got? Straight on and right. And then they're going down there. Okay, let's just do a bit more lane management. Trying to fix things differently so you can learn for you, from your cities what to do. So we're going to have one off and two straight on. These are all merging all over the place, all over the place. Okay, that's going to need to be done. So one to go right, two to go straight on. And then it's hitting this down here. Okay, we're going to have a little roundabout here. We are going to have some roundabouts. Just to keep this going. So we're going to have a little roundabout there. There we go. We're going for the small ones. They're all hitting this section here. Okay. So what we're going to do is change this lane. So we're only going to have this left lane for going off. Then we can have that one for straight on. And then that one for right. So we've got a whole lane dedicated to what's going on. But it's also sort of merging with these guys. So what I'm thinking is, is rather than having these ones coming up here, and then that's going to get rid of this. Look, this is already going. That's going to go. And then, right, you've got this right here. Let's just move that bus stop. Bad bus stop placement. So that is going to move over there. That's going to move over there. There we go. So they're all going to come off. We'll leave the metro there. That should be fine. Just gives that little bit of extra space, look, to move on and not get in each other's way. Which is then going to help this. Which is then going to help this because we've got the dedicated lane coming off. Pretty sure I did that one there. Yeah, one off, two on. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's just take a quick look at that. Yeah, one lane for off, two lane for on. Let's just give that a change. And then they're coming all the way down here, merging in there. Man alive. And then that's all coming around here. See, a lot are coming off down here. All right, let's just change this one then. So we have one left, two straight on and one right. But then we want to keep this moving. We'll use the industry roads as you've got that. So that's going to go that way. So that's just going to keep moving now. So we can use this junction restriction tool and say keep moving. Keep moving. Where are you going to go? So what we could just do as well is say you can go there. You can go there. You can go there. So that's just not going to stop now. And there's obviously a stop sign hidden in there. There we go. Get rid of that. Oh, let's turn this off. Ping. There we go. So that keeps that going. Look at that. Change the lane there. And suddenly all of this is just moving. Look. All of this is moving. What are we at? 61%. That is fantastic. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to get things flowing. I'm loving that. Okay, so just looking around, we've got a couple of other little hotspots here on this highway that goes through. This little lane coming off, yeah, causing a lot of backing up here. So the first things I'm going to do is check the lanes. 
Yeah. So we've got one lane going off and then two lane going on. So that just gets these guys and girls moving. There we go. Look at that. People that don't want to come off can move on. And it just unclogs it. That is just great. Uh, let's have a look down here. This is getting a little bit messy here. The coming off and going on. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change this. So people don't get in each other's way. We are going to say, if you're coming in, all you can do is come around to there, there and there. If you're going off, you can go up there. And you can go around there. And you can go around there. And then we've got... Uh, National Road, two-lane highway. Yeah, like that. Just so we don't get everybody getting in each other's way. So you can go to that lane. And then I want this to be an asymmetrical road. Three lane, one plus two. So if we go like that. And do it that way round. Yeah, and we'll just carry that on all the way down, to be honest. There we go, until we hit that junction. I'll sort out those businesses in a minoir. So let's grab that. Yeah, so that's going to go straight onto there. That's going to go to there. That's going to go to there. So nobody's getting in each other's way. We'll take our junction restrictions and say, you can go straight through, you can go straight through, you can go straight through. And then we'll check there's no stop signs. No, we're fine. No stop signs, no traffic lights. They can all move in and out. They can come into here and get round to the rest of the place via other ways so that's fine and then let's just pop this industry back in there and there and i probably won't do that bit and this bit here just so we've got a bit and that's it look they're moving all the way in 72 percent man alive this is going so well right two little tweaks i've put in and we are at 80 percent traffic which is fantastic i've just put this little crossroad going across here so there was this crossroad going over here and i put this one in as well so anybody coming from this side can go over here or vice versa without using this junction and i've just put a little slip lane coming off to a little roundabout just in case anybody wants to come off and go across there and it just means they can avoid all of this and then the same coming from the other direction we had this crossroad little roundabout in the middle they can come off there if they wish they can choose to go into here or over there and it just keeps people away from this and that is 80 percent it was like 83 a minute ago it's 82 84 it's been sort of going up and down there's a couple of other little hot spots which i think we could probably just fix here i mean for a start we don't need that people can get around without that we've got this little roundabout people are coming in what is going on here that's all been set up that's all been set up why are they going so slow so coming on coming down coming along i think it's just we've got lanes changing from big lane to small lane to medium lane to all sorts of things going on here let's just change that and that and oh yeah, we could do the one with the trees can't we oh no that's six lane and to that just to keep that moving along yes yeah, this bit here that's actually holding it up um a giveaway sign's been put in here so i'm going to just change that and say you get priority to go through and you have to give way and i'm even going to make you give way so you guys can just keep on going and then we'll add in here and say you can just keep on going through. And that is what we want to keep those guys moving. Let's just check there's no hidden stop sign. Now we're fine. So that should just keep on. And then I'm just going to change that lane there. And say one lane for left and one lane for straight on. There we go. And hopefully then they will just keep moving along. Look, there we go. It's cleared up that little hotspot already. Fantastic. Any other hotspots? This is all moving okay. These roads are busy. But that's moving okay. That's okay. Red means they're used a lot. Doesn't necessarily mean they're chock-a-block. This is all pretty busy because we've got... There's a cargo hub along here. And what is going on here? We've got one lane changing into lots of lanes. That just really isn't needed there, is it? Like that. So why don't we just take a normal two-lane road. There we go. Coming in. Uh, let's just get your industry filled in there. I'm going to just take this away right by the entrance, like that. I'm going to take four back there, four back there, and do the same here, just to keep that road moving. And is that one way as well? Yeah, that's all one way coming in. We might as well do this road as well. Look, give it the same road. 
And that should hopefully get that moving a little bit. What is happening here? Lots going on here. So I'm going to make that one way going out and that one way going out. That's it. And that can just keep on moving then. If they need to get back in, they can circle back around. Oh, there we go. I found the other Atlantis Stargate. It's all the way over here by our cargo hub on the other side of the city. So that has actually worked out reasonably well. I don't think 80% is too bad for a city of this size. And it's going to continue to grow now. You're going to find that all the services will kick in and things will start working. And I'm very pleased with that one. So thank you very much for sending that in. If you want to send me a city, check the description below. Check out the next video on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. If you're subscribed, so you don't miss out on our next City Skyline video. Video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.